Graduates and guests, may we have your attention, please? Convocation is about to begin. If you have a mobile device or pager with you, please turn it off or silence it during the ceremony. Thank you for your attention and congratulations. If able, please rise. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We are also grateful to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of the scholars we are honouring today. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a long and challenging journey for all of us, with many unexpected developments along the way. Our guests of honour today completed their degrees at the height of the pandemic when public health restrictions prevented us from gathering. And so, for the first time in its 193-year history, the University had to confer all degrees in absentia, meaning conferred on those not present and move to virtual convocations. Of course, nothing compares to gathering as a group in the attendance of family and friends to mark such an auspicious milestone. Accordingly, we are delighted to welcome you back to historic St. George campus today to do just that. In Conquilium Universitatis Toronto Nessis Vocati Sumas, graduates Please remain standing. All guests, please be seated. Welcome, everyone. We are gathered today to celebrate our graduates, to honour their hard work and their perseverance in completing their programmes of study. Graduates, Given the very high academic standards of the University of Toronto, your degree represents a great achievement of which you should be very proud. And you've earned your degree during a time of unprecedented disruption and uncertainty, a fact that makes your success all the more meaningful. Today's celebration is a testament to our immense regard for your accomplishments, and it reflects our collective wish for your future success. And so, to the Rotman Commerce Bachelor of Commerce classes of 2020 and 2021, and the Rotman Graduate Diploma in Professional Accounting classes of 2020 and 2021, I say warmest congratulations. And on... On behalf of the University of Toronto, this is your day. You have earned it. Everyone, please join me in a round of applause to recognize our graduates. <laughs> Graduate
Graduates, please be seated. Good morning. My name is Alexandra Mackay. I have the privilege of serving the University of Toronto as Vice Dean, Undergraduate and Specialized Programs at the Rotman School of Management. Today, I have the additional pleasure of assisting Professor Susan Christofferson, Dean of the Rotman School of Management, in conducting this special celebration. It is such a tremendous honor to be here. Today's event allows graduates to celebrate their hard work and wonderful accomplishments with parents, family, and friends, and we are delighted to welcome graduates back to the University of Toronto and to share in this special moment. Graduates, each of you, together with your families and friends, have traveled a distinctive path to arrive at this ceremony. In addition to your formal education, I imagine that you learned as much or perhaps more outside of classrooms, laboratories, or seminar rooms as you did inside. That made a meaningful connection with our green spaces, neighborhoods, and libraries. That you experienced a period of great personal growth and that you made lasting friendships and accumulated wonderful memories that will last a lifetime. Today, we celebrate a turning point for each of you. We are proud of you, proud of all that you have accomplished, and proud that you have joined an established and emerging community of alumni that met numbers more than 640,000 strong and circles the globe. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff. But that reputation has also been enhanced by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So to the graduates here today, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university while you were a student. Thank you for what you will do as members of the University of Toronto alumni community. One of the distinguishing features of today's celebration is that the graduates will come forward individually to be recognized. You will then leave the stage using the ramp right, long here, uh, and exit out the door and around the hall. At that point, you will turn left and quietly re-enter the hall as your peers continue to be recognized. In this light, I encourage you to think of the very last person on stage and so quietly return to your seat. Finally, I also note that the university is a mask-friendly environment. We ask everyone to respect each other's decisions and comfort levels with regard to the ongoing health and safety concerns. Similarly, we will forego the traditional handshake, but promise to offer a vigorous round of applause as you pass by on the stage. Thank you for your understanding and once more, warmest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce our graduating speaker, Mark Bonham. Mark S. Bonham is a widely respected leader in the Canadian financial industry and a dedicated LGBTQ advocate and educator. He currently serves as the executive director of the Veritas Foundation, a registered Canadian charity, and is a senior fellow of Massey College. Having founded two successful Canadian mutual fund companies, Mr. Bonham is completing his fourth book, A History of the Canadian Financial Industry, 1900 to Present. He has also authored three LGBTQ books to date. An alumnus of the University of Toronto, Mr. Bonham has endowed the Mark S. Bonham Center for Sexual Diversity Studies, as well as several chairs in finance, and a graduate scholarship at Rotman. His community projects include co-chairing the capital campaigns for a Toronto youth homeless shelter and the Casey House Hospice. Among his many accolades, Mr. Bonham was named Outstanding Philanthropist of the Year by the Association of Fundraising Professionals in 2018 and was included in the Financial Times of London, UK, Outstanding Global LGBT 
Business Leaders List in 2017. Please welcome Mark Bonham to the podium. Thank you very much. It's a truly wonderful day. Congratulations to everyone in this room for your hard work. It's paid off and you just must be absolutely thrilled to be here today, as I'm sure your family and friends are as well. Well deserved. I'm tremendously thrilled myself to have been given this honor to speak with you today. I will also admit, however, I'm also quite envious of everyone graduating today. I say that because all of you have such a huge opportunity in front of you to achieve your dreams and what you want to accomplish in your lifetime. Obviously, you've come a long way to get here today, but you have so many more adventures and experiences in your life to come. Life, of course, is not without challenges, and we have all lived through a tumultuous and challenging few years these past few years. In fact, as you know, and we've said, you were denied an in-person celebratory convocation until today. And perhaps you thought during this time that it could have been so much better. But think of it. You actually lived through an historical period of time, and you were part of that history. As we move forward, not every generation is going to be able to make that statement, nor experience what you experienced over the past few years. Now, why is that important to you today? Because our lives are shaped by what we are experiencing every moment. And our learning is enriched equally by the challenging times as by the times of celebration. And what I encourage you to do is to use all of your past experiences, both the good and the bad, and what you learn from them to your advantage in pursuing your dreams and aspirations. While you cannot predict the future, you directly connect to your past, and the learnings and experiences of your past undoubtedly will shape how you dream about your future and what you accomplish in the future. So use that challenging experience of living through COVID times as a learning and teaching experience to help you move forward. One of the first recommendations I give to any student that I have the pleasure of mentoring is to keep a daily journal. Not necessarily about the more mundane, routine aspects of your life, such as I woke up this morning 10 minutes before commencement ceremony and rushed to get there and barely made it, <laughs> but about the relevant goings-on in the world around you and how it affected your personal life and decisions the push and pull of events that are going on around you in the world, and anything you may have learned about that world. If you do that, in 20 or 30 years, you will have accumulated a vast amount of historical knowledge, interactions, comings and goings, and so on. These past experiences will be a vast treasure of activity to rely on when you make decisions or comments about anything that you may be working on or dreaming about at any point in time. You will have that record of historical interaction and learnings that shaped so much of your life. And you can use that to guide you, to give advice yourself, to convey actions and reactions, and so on. Historical learnings from your personal experience give you one very important asset that can serve you well in the future the ability to distinguish between what is fact and what is opinion. In my view, that is a massive thing to know. View it in this way. As you move through your life and try to realize on your dreams and aspirations, whatever they may be, you are going to get a lot of advice on whether you can do it, how you can do it, when to do it, and so on. To determine if this advice is helpful or just errant advice, I will argue that it greatly helps to be able to distinguish whether that advice is based on fact or on opinion. You can use your accumulated historical experiences to draw conclusions on what is fact and what is opinion. And you can make that personal judgment call on what to actually do 
with significantly more accuracy, confidence, and better results. As an example, I had dinner the other evening with a, a visiting scholar from the UK, and she asked me, what is the big difference between you and Ameri between Canadians and Americans? And I thought about it for a moment, and I think one of the greatest differences is that Canadians are better at distinguishing the difference between fact and opinion than Americans are, with no disrespect. Um, truth from untruth. And I think that, that, that says why we are who we are. <laughs> but I can tell you from my own personal and humble experiences that many of my accomplishments in life were result, were result of making good judgment calls based on facts rather than strictly on someone's opinion. The decision to start my first mutual fund company came directly from my graduate research work on capital markets theory at the time. My research showed me the great disparity between the growth of the mutual fund marketplace in the U.S. at that time relative to the meager growth of that in Canada and all the reasons why and why that was about to change. And I believe this presented a tremendous business opportunity and I took advantage of that. And as I said about creating the company, my first company, I sought advice from other senior management, also competitors, and I remember being told I was climbing a hill of sand on my hands and knees. Another labeled me a young punk in the industry, a moniker I actually adopted very eagerly and continue to use today. But I stuck to my plans because I knew my thinking and my strategy long term was based on facts that I had accumulated in my research, whereas their comments I believed were based on opinion. I am very pleased to tell you that it all worked out with a lot of ups and downs, of course, a lot of mistakes, a lot of successes, but the overall success has allowed me to give so much back to my communities. Have enough confidence in yourself that your plans and actions for your life are based on fact, drawn from the historical precedents experienced by either yourself or learned from others. That does not mean you will not make mistakes, of course you will, but those mistakes will still build that factual basis you can use in making good decisions and outcomes going forward. A few final notes. This process of referring to your historical record will be of tremendous value to you when it comes to your opportunity to give back to your community. And that opportunity can come in many, many forms. The greatest foundation to any society is the process of education and teaching the next generation, as we are witnessing today in this great institution that you have had the honor of being a part. And lastly, be sure to thank those who helped you all along the way, your family, your friends, your teachers, your mentors, and many more. There is always an opportunity to express your heartfelt gratitude. Each of you has accumulated a great deal of experience and learning over the past few years at the U of T. Each of you has had an opportunity to make your contribution to your community and your world going forward. Use your historical learning to your advantage to realize your personal dreams and ambitions. You will not be disappointed. And I look forward to hearing more and more about the great classes of 2020 and 2021. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring words, Mr. Bonham. I would now like to invite Dr. Alexandra Motu, Executive Director, Center for Professional Skills, Rotman Commerce, to present the graduates.
Dean Christofferson, I have the honor to present to you the following graduates from the Rotman School of Management and the Faculty of Arts and Science who have been awarded the degree of Bachelor of Commerce. Rida Amir. Malak Abu Ghazale. Dina Abu Logod. David Adamishin. Mira Adil. Lara Ackman. Rodolf Alameto. Jasmine Ali. Sabrina Almeida. Yasmin Amador Mugal. Namdi Amangbo. David Amwa. Yang Shuang An. Moksha Antani. Sarah Arshad. Judson Asirua. Eclipse Atencio Maliksi. Maria Atanasulias. Sarah Avery. Elena Azadian. Furiel Barber. Mariam Bacchus. Jung Wan Bak. Zachary Baines. Christopher Bacos. Yushin Bao. Lorenzo Bascon. Diane Beek. Melissa Beeson. Pranjal Basani. Angad Singh Bhatia. Ketki Bavsar. Dobrila Blazeski. Dylan William Bonney. Angela Bosenius. Christine Bradshaw. Katie Brasseur. Rachel Bremacombe. David Axel Brown. Gabrielle Athena Buenaventura. Tia Chi Tsai. Yu Han Tsai. Yu Tong Tsai. John Anthony Calabro. Jessica Tao. Cheyenne Castro. Amule Chadha. Denise Chan. 
Sabrina Chu Ying Chen. Sharon Chen. Victoria Chen. Xu Ting Chang. Yu Shi Chang. Philip Cherry Chu. Anne Marie Chatterton. Annie Chen. Ao Shui Chen. Bao Ning Chen. Berlin Chen. Fang Chi Chen. Wang Hao Chen. Hao Yuan Chen. Jack Chen. Rina Chen. Linda Chen. Olivia Chen. YK Chong. Deborah Chima. Lisa Chu. Xin Chu. Julia Clark. Sarah Camiso. Nicholas Cortellucci. Serena Tui. Haley Cornin. Dina Curtozzi. Mia Spetkovic. Marguerite Dadivas. Annie Dai. Xu Hui Dai. Jamil Darwich. Prathit Dave. Chia Pei Dung. Nihal Dillon. Olivia Di Fiore. Matt Di Palma. Andrea Dominguez. Nancy Dong. Frederica Tialin Du. Ilinka Ducharme. Eleanor Edwards. Yi Fan Fang. Ji Hung Fang. Mina Fang. Michael Fertil. Katerina Filipovic. Charles Fogarty. Tu Wen Fu. Anjali Gandhi. Chen Shi Gao. 
Mu Yun Gao. Yi Gao. Yu Tong Gao. Shivam Garg. Matthew Gehring. Zhuyan Gung. Sarbjot Gill. Serena Gill. Joshua Gomez Soke. Maria Grajdinoyu. Alyssa Greenwood. Sohrab Krewal. Emily Gulielmin. Olivia Guo. Spencer Guo. Stephen Guo. Yi Guo. Ashna Gupta. Brenna Hamel. Zainab Hamid. Cynthia Han. Wenjie Hao. Mariam Hassan. Tasfia Hassan. Gune He. Kevin He. Sophia He. Ting He. Chin Ho. Jason Ho. Su Yat Sam Ho. Hao Zhan Ho Hu. Qin Yu Hu. Yi Tong Hu. Li Lin Huang. Shui Han Hong Huang. Xin Yi Huang. Yi Kelly Huang. Yu Han Huang. Christian Huang Chang. Stella Hung. Maggie Hung. Christina Ivarkova. Iman Jafari, Shariat Jafari. Saida Jafri. Sorez Jahan. Anushka Jariwala. Eddie G. Yun G. Aaron Jia. Sabrina Shi Yuan Jia. Hao Yun Jiang. 
Shu Yan Jennifer Jiang. Yun Chang Jiang. Zishi Jiang. Lydia Jiao. Zhu Yue Jiao. Xu Zhu Jin. An Qi Jing. Guy Three John. Yagna Joshi. Vansh Kapoor. Margot Capel. Karishma Karnani. Kunal Kasturia. Fatima Kausar. Rashid Kamis. Adib Konkur. Ze He Ki. Hadia Kiani. Amy Kim. Jessica Kim. Ji Ho Kim. Clara Kim. Nicholas Klassen. Dominique Khan. Jun Jie Huang. Aaron Kwok. Meredith Lacasse. Katie Lai. Nadia Lalang. Chuk Fung Leo Lam. Wai Chung Lam. Kar K. Lam. Tamara Lama. Yi Lin Lao. Carmen Lee. Harrison Lee. Kyle Lee. Stephanie Lee. Susie Lee. Jacob Leong. Alex Leong. Stephanie Leong. Winkit Leong. Yuk Ting Nicole Leung. Bowie Lee. Fu Lung Lee. K Yi Lee. Mary Lee. Ming Yi Lee. Xin Zhui Li. Yu Cecily Li. Wen Ting Yao. Bo Wen Liu. Chang Liu. Chun Shan Larry Liu. 
Jan Yoon Leo. Ethan Leo. Feng Yi Leo. Gui Wan Leo. Hui Shin Leo. Jing Jing Leo. Jin Yan Leo. Ming Zhu Leo. Nan Shi Leo. Jun Bo Leo. Su Yu Leo. Yang Yang Leo. Yun Kong Leo. Se Chi Leo. Amanda Ayustina. Fak Tang Lomtads. Christopher Lor. Danny Shung Min Lu. Xia Ying Amber Lu. Jia Lu. Sabrina Lu. Yin Zi Lu. Erica Lee. Yi Zhong Yu. Lillian Ma. Melissa Magnante. Rachel Makar. Abhinit Malhotra. Saba Malkoi. Helen Mamaoglu. Taimur Makbul. Nabuki Ahmed Matsuoka. Emily McCullough. Andres Medina Pineda. Stephanie Melnick. Surab Menderata. Jessica Mensa. Nicole Mitacek. Disha Michelle Mittal. Kritika Mittal. Chu Yuan Mo. Aisha Mohammed. Yi Ching Jasmine Mok. David Moon. Paige Morin. Ariana Moshifar. Aditya Mukherjee. Jagvir Mundi. Victoria Mihelichenko. Dawood Nadim Yunis. Nishant Narayan. 
Imama Nasir. Darshan Naut. Christina Niemi. Matthias Ng. Hui Lam Nicole Ng. Thuy Ann Nguyen. Fang Fei Niu. Annie Jia Xuan Niu. Isabella O'Hara. Chen Pan. Sun Wu Park. Ayushi Patel. Mayur Patel. Prapti Paul. Hui Peng. Alicia Pirog. Brian Po. James Pritzker. Onib Kaisar. Kun Tian. Huan Ping Chan. Olivia Quint. Sarah Kureshi. Hamza Ramzan. Ron Rautu. Jenny Ren. Chad Rewa. Nagme Resvanpur. Angelo Ricci. Zachary Robbins. Maximilian Robson. William Rogers. Shireen Rushdi. Ria Zanis Ruala. Adriana Salazar. Sophia San Victores. Jobin Saran. Ramya Sathiyabama. Mitchell Savage. Rosalia Savchuk. Ishita Sawant. Nadia Shaban. Zachary Shafi. Miriam Shaker. Muhammad Ali Sheikh. Connie Shen. Xiao Yi Shen. Vidit Shetty. Jia Yue Shi. Yi Xuan Shi. Ji In Shin. Anchor Shiwakoti. Advika Shukla. Julia Siciliano. Abdul Rafay Siddiqui. Harveen Sidhu. 
Damanbir Singh, Ishvinder Singh, Karanvir Singh, Michael Sisti, Hannah Smith, Ji Yoon So, Andrea Stanley, Samantha Steves, Isadora Stepanchev, Danielle Saint Hilaire, Kevin Su, Xu Feng Soon. Yi Yang Soon, Hao Ming Tan, Zhuo Wan Tan, Carmen Tang, Jia Wei Vivian Tang, Victoria Tang. Yong Chi Teresa Tang, Sakib Tanzim, Victoria Terech, Kia Long Thong, Patrick Thong, Denise To. Kam Man To, Eric Toldich, Ming Sang, Serena Tu, Chan Uslu, Chloe Villaret. Brianna Huang, An Chi Wu, Kelly Wan Ho, An Bo Chao Wang, Bill Wang, Chu Han Wang. Hai Ge Wang, Hei Di Wang, Jia Shuo Wang, Ko Fei Wang, Lung Shi Wang, Mina Wang. Rebecca Wang, Sejia Wang, Yvette Wang, Xin Jue Wang, Yan Hua Wang, Angel Wang. Yu Xuan Wang, Ju Xin Wang, Zi Yi Wang, Xu Xin Wei, Brian Williams, Madeline Witt, Victoria Witt. Janet Wong, Man K Wong, Nicole Wu, Alex Wu, Jessica Tian Wu, 
Huang An Wu. Christy Shi. Yue Shi. Yi Zhan Sha. Yu Sha. Yu Xiang. Ning Han Xie. Si Chi Xie. Zhuo Nan Xie. Sapphire Xin. Han Yu Xing. Song Tian Xu. Ming Yang Xu. Ting Yu Xu. Xiao Xu. Yu Tian Xu. Qin Yi Yan. Fan Yan. Jia Hao Yang. Keshin Yang. Shirley Yang. Su Ni Yang. Xin Yang. Yan Yang. Jia Yi Yao. Yi Jia Yao. Zhu Ye. Cindy Yen. Harrison Young. Tian Chi Yu. Zhe Kai Yu. Andrew Zhang. Jia Chen Zhang. Jing Shui Zhang. Jin Hua Kathy Zhang. Catherine Minchuan Zhang, Selena Zhang, Qin Chen Zhang, Xuan Ming Zhang, Yao Yin Zhang, Yao Ji Zhang. Yao Zhang Zhang, Chen Fan Zhao, Shirley Chen Xin Zhao, Doreen Zheng, Yu Cheng Zheng, Hun Lin Zhong. Bo Wan Zhou, Chang Shi Zhou, Heran Zhou, Pei Wen Zhou, Ze Yan Zhou, Wang Yi Zhu, Mei Zhu. Zhang Yi Zhu, Zhe Kui Zhu, Daphne Zhuang, Chloe Zhou,
Graduates from the Robin School of Management who have been awarded the degree of Bachelor of Commerce and the Graduate Diploma in Professional Accounting. Arian Abutorabinian. <laughs> Mohammed Sayedur Rahman Barobi. <laughs> Jamie Bruce. <laughs> Scott Chun. <laughs> Desmond Chang. <laughs> Stephanie Colella. Maria Kandorkuri, <laughs> Jung Kai Fu, <laughs> Xiao Hua Huang, <laughs> Kate Lee, <laughs> Rachel Leong, <laughs> Tenzin Lamo. Francesca Manjardi. <laughs> Joseph Masabki. <laughs> Mona Omran. <laughs> Diana Salamanyeva. <laughs> Annie Xiao Wen Sun. <laughs> John Shin. Mavish Siddiqui. <laughs> Alexander Slovich. <laughs> Graduates from the Robin School of Management who have been awarded the Graduate Diploma in Professional Accounting. Stephen Blahi. <laughs> Boris Chi. <laughs> Katie Cheong. Long Yoon Darren Chiang. <laughs> Snigda Chowdhury. <laughs> Ryan Dennison. <laughs> Caitlin Downs. <laughs> Kiana Asmael Poor. <laughs> Chia He Fan. Julian Giannone. <laughs> Jenna Girardi. <laughs> Teresa Ho. <laughs> Shivam Kurania. <laughs> Vincent Lejeune. <laughs> Huda Obaid. Vanessa Okiogrosso. Agshara Ramanan. Serena Rathor. Anastasia Serovetnik. Jaideep Singh. Kailin Shu Yuan Wang. Sydney Wilson, Christina Jung, Roger Joe, Thank you, Dr. Motu. As we conclude today's celebration, I wish to thank all of you for your participation. On behalf of the University of Toronto, let me express our appreciation to family members, partners, and friends in attendance for your wonderful support of our graduates. You have made this a more memorable event for each member of our graduating classes. I would also like to thank Professor Christofferson for presiding over today's ceremony. 
I wish to thank as well other members of the platform party who participated in today's ceremony. Our graduation speaker, Mark Bonham, the eagle feather bearer, Shannon Simpson, the beetle, Ferran Joseph Umar Kitab, the esquires, Luigi Trentadu and Tanya Trentadu, the reader, Alexandra Motu, the university organist, John Tuttle, and all those in the academic procession. Thank you, everyone, for being here today, and congratulations once more. I now invite Professor Christofferson to make closing remarks. Thank you, Professor Mackay. And again, congratulations to everyone, graduates and distinguished alumni of the University of Toronto. I am delighted you are taking this opportunity to celebrate. You have worked hard and we are proud of your success. We want you in return to continue to be proud of your degree. As our students and now as our alumni, you embody and reflect the excellence of the University of Toronto. The distinct contributions and leadership of our alumni in virtually every field of endeavor are crucial to the excellence and international reputation of the University of Toronto. In fact, our alumni are our greatest ambassadors and we rely on you to be our champions around the world, living proof of the excellent education at Rotman and the University of Toronto. We also rely on you to support and engage fellow alumni in your communities and professional networks. Among the assets of a U of T education affords is the vast alumni network around the world. We hope you will both contribute to this network and take advantage of the connections it can provide. We hope that you will help maintain and enhance our position as an academic destination of choice for bright young people. We also hope your campus will always be a special place for you. And we ask as you proceed to the next chapter of your lives, please stay connected to your alma mater. We see ourselves as its custodians. For those alumni who return to visit and for the generations of students yet to come. Near or far, you will always be distinguished members of the University of Toronto community. Stay in touch and continue to share in what your university has to offer. There are many ways in which our alumni continue to support and engage with our mission after they graduate. Whether it is speaking to prospective students, mentoring current students, or supporting our research, alumni remain a dynamic and valuable part of our current community. Whatever your next steps, I invite you to see your studies here as a part of a lifetime learning. And I encourage you to use that learning to leave every situation better than it was when you arrived. Thank you, graduates, and once more, congratulations, good fortune, and good health to all of you. Conchilium demissum est. <laughs>